for the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids, Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want. From stories to games, from software-based AI projects to hardware-based projects. Pictoblocks, an international AI education and coding platform. You can learn to code, make interactive animations and games, interesting projects based on AI, program actions for robots and much more. With Pictoblocks app now available on Play Store, you can even make your project for the competition on the go. Anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can. Yes, you can either participate as a one-person army or in a team of two with your coding buddy. Follow these three easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self-learning material and AI bootcamps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results. Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The is 10th January 2023. You can register anytime between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Along with the cash prizes up to $1,000, all the winners will also receive a medal, certificate and the official Codeva 2022 AI t-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1,000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries.
for the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids. Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want. From stories to games. From software-based AI projects to hardware-based projects. Pictoblocks, an international AI education and coding platform. You can learn to code make interactive animations on games, interesting projects based on AI, program actions for robots, and much more. With Pictoblocks app now available on Play Store, you can even make your project for the competition on the go. Anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can. Yes, you can either participate as a one-person army or in a team of two with your coding buddy. Follow these three easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self-learning material and AI bootcamps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file, and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results. Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register anytime between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Along with the cash prizes up to $1,000, all the winners will also receive a medal, certificate and the official Codeva 2022 AI t-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries.
for the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids. Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you Namaste. want. Namaste. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. I am Vignesh Nosa Shetty of Standard 9 coding from Dr. K.B. Hedgevar Vidya Mandir Shakri. I am the winner of last year's Codeva 2021 competition and I am here to tell you about my last year's journey during the competition and also how I did my project. And today, so this is the device that I have developed last year. Let me start by asking you. The name of my device is air pollution detector. Type yes. The problem statement that I chose was air pollution. Friends, by the way, nowadays, what happens is whenever students the air pollution crosses the government limit set in the industry, the locals get a lot of trouble. If not, please do But there is no system for the government to get the reports about it immediately and automatically. For this causes Namaste. a lot of health Good issues afternoon. to the surroundings I, area. On behalf of the project management to prevent it, I have made this device and that detects the air pollution and reports it to the government Welcome authorities through the, the web dashboard using IoT. Of this year. It also has the capability has been of sending email to the local person in charge of that particular area. Last yeah. year, when I came to know about whatever competition, I Welcome you all to the first Namaste, good afternoon. I, on behalf of the project management unit, coding and robotics education in school scheme, welcome you all to the first bootcamp session of this year. This bootcamp has been organized to help you prepare for the Goa Codever competition 2022. And today is the first day of the bootcamp. And let me start by asking you, are you excited? Type yes in the chat window to let me know that you are excited. By the way, do you know that we already have over 8,000 students joining this session? I hope you have told your classmates and parents about these sessions. If not, please do tell them, else they will miss it. We have organized very interesting sessions for you. Let me share with you more details about this competition. At the international level, we have over 3 lakh students from over 90 countries participating in this event. And at the state level, that is at the Goa level, we have already 8,000 students that have registered for this competition. Right? So, in the 5-day bootcamp, we will help you prepare for the Codever competition. So, let's build a project that offers solutions to our problems. Now, what could be the problems? The problems could be based on the, these themes which I am showing you right now in this slide. From these five themes, which theme do you feel attracted towards? Is it 1. Strengthening the health infrastructure 2. Make transportation systems safer 3. Automate the surroundings 4. Save the environment or 5. Revolutionizing the agriculture Type in the number of the theme that you feel attracted to in the chat box and let me know. Now, the secret. Let me reveal a secret to you. It's about the prizes. Ta-da! We have amazing prizes for each category. That is for class 6, 7 and 8 separately. Now, what are the prizes? You will get fantastic robot kits. Not just that we have more prizes. The top team, I mean the top performing team will be invited to the country level to physically showcase their projects. And everyone who participates in it will get a certificate too. Now that we know 
all about the prizes, let's get going and let know more about it. In the five days of bootcamp, to begin with, we will have last year's winner speaking to us and explaining about their winning projects so that you get motivated from these. Most importantly, we will have experts conducting sessions for you. Now, can you guess who these experts are? Now, type your answers in the chat box. Let me see the chat. Uh, let me see if I can see any right answer in the chat window. Hmm, interesting chats. By the way, let me reveal it to you. These experts are your classmates. Now, today we have Ifra Sheikh from Murgam High School. Vasco, who is a popular YouTuber, you must have seen a YouTube channel. She will speak to us about creating a scenery using patterns that you have learnt in your school, right? We also have exciting sessions lined up for you for the next few days. Now, who doesn't play, uh, you know, who doesn't play games or love playing games? How about uh, building a game yourself? So tomorrow we have Sukant Hegde from St. Joseph Institute Vasco showing us how to build a maze game. Sounds interesting, right? On 3rd January, we have Chicken Fernandez from Holy Family School, Porvorim, explaining on how to build a space battle game. But with a little twist. The twist is using your finger to play the game. Now, we must have all heard about machine learning, artificial intelligence, and how self-driving cars are using AI, ML, etc., etc. You also must have played the rock, paper, scissor game, right? Now, how about linking the machine learning and the rock, paper, scissor game? This is exactly what on 5th January, we have Bhavya Rao from Sri Ram Mandir School, Kolwale, explaining to us on how we can use machine learning to build a rock, paper, scissor game. After all these expert sessions, I am sure you would want to know how to actually build a project and how to submit it, right? So on 7th January, we will have Mr. Ayush Jha from the Codever team talking to us about Codever 2022. Now, you won't just have sessions, right? I talked about so much about sessions to you. If you have doubts about the sessions being conducted, you can get them answers every day. Every day at the end of the session, we will have a special doubt clearing session, wherein you can submit your question via Google form, right? And get them answered. Now, we also have a daily challenge. Your classmates are explaining the projects and you're learning from them, right? Every day. Now, we want you to actually create that same project and submit via Google form to us. The details of the Google form are available on the website. We will select the best submission and showcase it the next day. Sounds exciting, right? So let's gear up for the five days of exciting sessions. Thank you. So this is the device that I have developed last year. The name of my device is air pollution detector. The problem statement that I chose was air pollution. Friends, nowadays what happens is whenever the air pollution crosses the government limits set in the industries, the locals get a lot of trouble. 
but there is no system for the government to get the reports about it immediately and automatically. This causes a lot of health issues to the surrounding areas. To prevent it, I have made this device that detects the air pollution and reports it to the government authorities through the web dashboard using IoT. It also has the capability of sending email to the local person in charge of that particular area. Last year, when I came to know about Codever competition, I first joined the boot camps. In the boot camps, we were taught various new, how to use various new technologies such as Internet of Things, that is IoT, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, etc. We were taught the PictoBlock software and the most important thing that I liked about PictoBlocks is in that software, we could use very complex technologies such as Internet of Things, Machine Learning, Artificial Intelligence in a very simple way. After the workshop, I started exploring the software and started learning the different new skills about these uh, technologies. Then I thought, what all problems I can solve in the, using these technologies. Then I chose air pollution as my uh, topic. My journey in Codever has been a lot of learning with fun. Even if you don't know anything about coding or robotics, or, you, or if you are a beginner, you can join these boot camps and you will be able to know a lot of things about these technologies. Participating in Codever made me encouraged for participating in various other competitions and win, win in them at national and international levels. When I had any issues, my school science teacher and ICT sir helped me regarding the coding and scientific parts. This also encouraged me to increase my skills about the techno uh, different new technologies that are trending. You can choose any new problem that, if, uh, that you think and you can solve it using technology. If you have any difficulties, you can ask your school ICT sir or you can even Google it. Nowadays, every resource is available on the internet. There are a lot of exciting prizes and I hope you will enjoy it. Last but not the least, I urge you all to participate in the competition because you will learn a lot of things and it is a lot of fun. Thank you. and I study in 7th standard at Murgaon High School, Vasco. Today, I am here to tell you about how to draw a scenery. So, the scenery in the end will look like this. So, can you see what all have you drawn here? A house, a mountain, a tree and a road and there are and you can also see some cars placed on the road. So, let us now begin with the scenery. So, first let us begin with the uh, clear slate code. So, you need to select the extension pen. In case you don't see the extension, you need to go on the bottom left corner and search for the extension pen. Search for the extension pen and add the same. Okay, and then from the events block, take when flag clicked, erase all, pen up, point in direction 90 and go to x minus 240 and y 100. So, as we said, we can multiple the shapes here used to draw the block. How about creating a draw, uh, how about creating a block polygon which will help us to draw various shapes using just one block. So, to draw that, you need to go in my block and create a block draw polygon, but do not forget to write in camel casing and add parameters, steps, size and side. Okay. After that, we will take if else condition from the control block 
as you can see we so if else condition and then from the operators block as you all are aware about uh, recursion so let us begin uh, without any delay let us begin with adding the block so i will take now is equal to block and we will insert it here and then from the top i had dragged this steps and then you need to from the motion block i will take move 10 steps and you will have to drag here size drag size here and then again you need to take from the motions block turn left 15 degrees and from the operators block we will take divided by okay divided by and we will insert it here so and then so the 360 is the total side divided by okay and then we will go in my block and we'll take this drop polygon here on the top and from the operators block steps minus steps and the size will be the same from the top which is copied and the side will be also the same and you need to just take steps minus 1 okay now it is steps minus 1 so let us see if this working but before that let us link this to the main script this draw polygon and the size steps will be okay so what means steps steps means how many steps does your shape have and the size contain the size of your shape and the side means how many side your shape have just for example a rectangle has four sides and a triangle has three square four and so on so here we'll put three the size the steps and for the size we will put 100 and for the side again we will put 3 and now let us add from the pen block pen down and now let us see if it's working fine yes it's working but don't you think the it should have filled color inside let us make another block as fill color fill shape this is the another block fill shape the same way you have to create like how we have created draw polygon block so with the three parameters and then again from the control block take if then else if then else condition and then again from the operators is equal to and this time we want the size is equal to 0 and then the draw polygon this is copied from the top here like the same it is copied from the top and then we will take here fill shape because we want a shape to be filled inside we will take the size minus 1 we want the size of that um, shape to be reduced by 1 so it looks as if we have colored the shape and the side will also be the same and now let us link this let us link this fill shape okay and then here let us put three and then again the side will be also the three and then the size is 100 and then let's see if it's working fine great it's working now let us begin with our mountain so for the mountain we will need six sides so first let me create a mountain block first we we can remove this now we'll know it's working fine okay now i'll take this draw mountain 
and we will set this degrees over here. Put here draw mountain and then you can see here and then we will take our block draw mountain. Yes, this is our block draw mountain. So firstly I will select, I had select here set pen color to brown and we will select now the pen down and then the fill shape because we want the mountain to be filled inside and then pen up and then change x by. Why, we, uh, why should we take this change x by? Because we want the mountain to be uh, one side to the other. We want it very straight way and we want the six mountains. So we will repeat this process means we will not take repeat but we will duplicate this six times. So this is the set pen color to brown and then pen, up, pen down and then fill shape the steps is 3 and the size and the size is 80 and the sides are 3 and then again we want the pen to be up afterwards so I had taken here pen up and then change x by 80 because our size because our size is also 80 and we will change by change x by also 80 and then we will repeat this 6 times this is 1 you can see this is 1 and this this is 2 and this is 3 this is 4 then wait I'll just drop it here this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 this is 5 and 6 yes so let us see if this is working fine oh I will connect this this script to the draw mountain ok now let's see great it's working very nice so now let us begin with our road ok now we'll draw a road so I will do this side I'll keep it side and for the road first I will take this first uh, first only I will change this go, go to x y position that will be go to x280 and y minus 500. So if you don't know like how to change and you like don't get the idea of that. So you can select the backdrop x y grid. So let us add it. Add the backdrop x y grid. This is a sprite weight here block wait I will select the backdrop x y grid so search here yes it's here yes we have select now and now let's do for the mountains now let's do for the road code ok so I had defined it here and now let's begin with the road. Okay, so this is the road. Here for the road, if I remove this much, this code if I removed and let's see if it's, how it's working. It will become only little small, only one rectangle. So we want it 16 times to be repeated. So we have to repeat it 16 times and it is the same as we did for the mountains. The same process just fill shape just you need to uh, change the size of that. 
so the size uh, the size will be 30 and the steps will be 4 and the side will be 4 because it's a rectangle and then we want the again afterwards we want the pen to be up and then I will again attach it here and now let's see if it's 16 times this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 this is 14 15 and 16 so this is 16 times yes you can see here it's working very nicely this was the code for the road okay this is the code for the road and now let us put it in a good manner so now let us begin with the house now okay so in the house what shapes you can see is uh, there is a roof which is in rectangle and a structure for the house is in square and two windows also in is in square and also the door is also in square so we will take for the house and for the house we will take go to x minus 50 and and y minus 52 okay so now let's begin with the house so this is the code for the house so this is the code for the house and then first i have selected here set pen color to red uh, you can select any color which you whichever you like okay i have selected here red color for the roof and then pen down because to start a code pen down is very important and then fill shape 3 we had used the same block fill shape and then turn right 90 degrees and then i have selected for the structure of that house which is in square shape the green color okay and then again i had selected fill shape 4 size because we will draw the next Firstly, i had selected here set pen color to yellow yellow i had selected for the windows and then pen down to start the code and then fill shape but here you need to change the size of the windows you need to make the square small so that it should fit correctly in the house this also i am keeping here 25 and then I want two windows so I had just duplicated the same here but I had changed the x position change x by minus 30 and change y by minus 40 and then now we will draw here this is the uh, door code okay so this is the door and it's also the same pen down and then fill shape and this size is 40 and then again the, we want the pen up and at last turn left 90 degrees so now just we'll let us see if we we'll link it and we'll see it if it's working fine great lovely it's working very nicely so now let us do some trees here some factory trees let us do okay so we'll scroll it so before that in middles of the mountain do you see some missing there is a sun which is missing here so let us code for that for the sun so let us see so you have to go in my block and create a block draw sun and two uh, inputs you have to take which is one is radius and the steps and then from the pen select set pen color to yellow okay and then from the control position from the control uh, block you have to select if then else condition and then from the operators you have to select is equal to operator as we all are aware about recursion so without any delay let us put the block here so see first I will remove this code and you can see here I had selected if else condition and then is equal to block here and from the top I will insert here this 
steps I'll just drop here and then in the else block we will take pen up from the pen con from the pen extension and then move steps from the motion and then we will drag here radius steps now it is move radius steps and then we will take pen down and move 0 minus radius steps so what you have to do is here go in operators and select this minus operator and just drag on the move steps and then from the top we will drop this radius over here and we will put this 0 so now it is move 0 minus radius steps ok and we will turn left 1 degrees from my block we will link this draw sun the radius is same from the from the top and this is the steps which we have taken from the operator and this is the steps minus 1 steps minus we want the steps to be minus 1 and at the end we want the pen to be up why we, why we want this pen up because it will draw wherever it will want so we want the pen up if we have selected here pen down then it will draw wherever it wants so we will select a proper position so, so that's why we select pen up and now let's link this ok so now let's link this now let's see if it's working yes it's working very nicely so now I'll show you it go to x position so the x position is 0 and the y is 100 and the turn left to 120 degrees and then we will link here draw sun and for the radius I will keep 40 or you can keep any any radius and just to know that is why I put here this y x y grid backdrop and then the steps will be 60 ok and then now let's go for the for the trees code ok now let's go for the trees code so friends where is it this was the road yes now we will see about tree this is a not a normal tree it's a fractal tree so let us see its code so from the pen extension again select set pen color to green <laughs> and then pen down select if then else condition from the control block and then <coughs> From the operator's block is equal to operator will select and from the top we will just insert these steps over here and we will put here direct 0 ok. So afterwards in the if then else if then if then we will put move 10 steps we will put move 10 steps from the motion block and we will drag the size from here and we will keep it here and again we will take move steps and we will go in the operator and select this minus operator and drag the size here and put here 0 now it is this way move 0 minus size steps ok and in the else block we will put again from the motion move 10 steps and then now size insert it and then to turn the degrees we will put turn left 30 degrees ok and then so we want two trees to be drawn here two trees as a fractal so I had put here two so I just uh, I got done is I just duplicated this ok just duplicate this and the position and all is same ok just the turn this will be the turn left 30 degrees ok so see now this is draw tree and here from the operator I had selected minus operator and from the top I had selected this steps and then insert this in here in the draw tree and then here we will select this size and this operator which is you can see here 
you will get this operator from here from the top yes this okay and then we will also insert this over here and we will put this here and then we need to take now turn uh, turn left 30 degrees and then turn left 30 degrees I will put this down here and then turn right 60 degrees and then again you need to duplicate this the same code this is the same and then turn again left 30 degrees and then move 0 minus size steps which I have taken it from operators and then again it will draw wherever it wants so we want the pen to be up at the end. So uh, we will link this to the main script let us do it yes so here I taken this so here turn 60 degrees okay and pen the direction of the pen point is 0 direction and go to x is minus 150 okay go to x is minus 150 and y is again minus 150 and the draw tree okay draw tree so there will be the draw tree this is our trees code so this is the steps okay this is the steps and this is the size so let us link it once again so turn 60 degrees and point in direction 0 and then go to x minus 150 and y is also minus 150 so we want it at the exact direction so now I had linked this draw tree here and the steps is 10 and the size is 25 you want you can increase the size that's no problem and then I will change just change x by because I just want it to the left side of the house so change x by 300 and then draw tree the steps is 10 and the size is again 25 just duplicate it and just take uh, change x by 300 okay and then now let's see if it's working yes it's working very nicely but don't you think the road is looking so empty here like this so we need to select the from the choose the sprite we will select a car here we will put something here you can also, you can also uh, show there some people are walking and all but from the here I will select a car so it's not getting let's search a car okay now I'll select this convertible okay this I will select and then don't you think the size is too much big so let us decrease its size so let us keep it 50 okay and now let's see how it's working yes we want the exact like this and it's it's very nice but we will select now a one more car so let's search for the one more car and we'll select here car and then convertible now this will take this purple one and we will again decrease its size so we'll keep it as 50 okay it's 150 50 okay and then now let's see yes it's fine it's in the correct position and I will just keep it here one more of this same I will duplicate and we will put it over here so this is looking so nice and but this is looking very like empty from behind this is looking so wide background so let us put a backdrop here so select go to this icon and choose a backdrop and we'll take a winter backdrop let's see where it is winter yes here. now we'll select this backdrop yes it's looking very beautiful now so I'll just keep my code all sideways okay so this I'll keep it 
okay now this was our uh, this was our tree and this is the mountain and this is the house and this is the fill shape and draw polygon and this was the sun and here we have all linked here down okay and now let's see this project now let's see in a screen so so this was it our scenery so i hope guys you like it and bye guys now i had made a beautiful scenery so here i made a lot of shapes and you can make it more attractive and beautiful so do try out and i'll meet you in the next video bye guys For the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids, Codeva 2022 International Fourth Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme: save the environment, strengthen the health infrastructure, revolutionize the agriculture, automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want, from stories to games. Of to education and coding platform, you can learn to code, make interactive animations and games. interesting projects based on ai program actions for robots and much more with pictoblocks app now available on play store you can even make your project for the competition on the go anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can Yes, you can either participate as a one person army or in a team of 2 with your coding buddy. Follow these 3 easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self learning material and AI boot camps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results. You can use conditional loop for creating the project or you can use the repeat or follow. Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register any time between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Now air pollution, pollution is caused by this. Many times this air pollution is not reported to the government. Because of this, the people suffer a lot, but there is no action taken to prevent this. I have made this device, which will reduce the people's problem and also help to take action. You must have seen in the beginning how our friends have coded different personalities and festivals related themes. So do share your creative projects on our Cares Goa website so that. Ready, ready, ready. Slow. You are going live, right now. and i am vignesh we welcome you to the live session wherein we take in your questions and give you the answers so before we begin let me first thank ifra for a wonderful session on drawing scenery with shapes so let us start with the first question vignesh can i use scratch instead of pictoblocks for this boot camp so ifra since 
this competition, Codever is being organized by Stampedia using Pictoblock software for this competition is a prerequisite. We have a question here asking how to take part in the competition. Details about the competition, registration, uploading, etc. will be explained on the last day of this bootcamp. That is 7th January 2023, 3.30 pm to 4.30 pm. We have a friend who has asked, is Codeva a team project or an individual project? So in Codeva competition, you can do either a project in a team as well as you can also do an individual project. Uh, someone here has asked, do we need to use a conditional loop for creating a project or we can use repeat and forever, lo forever blocks? Since our curriculum focuses on conditional loop, we would prefer to use the conditional loop. Vishesh, since, Vignesh, since you are the last year's winner, why did you select the topic uh, air pollution detector? So friends, basically uh, in your everyday life, you must have seen that many times there is a lot of air pollution caused by the industries. This air pollution doesn't get reported to the government. So I have created this device that will solve the people's problem and will report the air pollution quickly. You must have seen in the beginning how our friends have coded different personalities and festival related themes. So, do share your creative projects on our CareScoa website so that all can see your creations. So, if not, you mean cares.goa.gov.in website. So, friends, do share your creative ideas so that all other students can see it. Uh, we have our friend asking here how to sign in Pictoblock software. So, to sign in Pictoblock software, Click on the top right corner, sign in, click on register. If you are first time user, select you as a student. Choose yes or no if you are above 16 old years old. Enter the email address, username, password and confirm your password. Then you have to create my account. What were the difficulties that you faced? while coding the program? So last year, my journey was uh, very uh, very nice. There were, uh, I didn't face many difficulties, but yes, I faced some of the difficulties, which I solved by uh, searching on the various other uh, resources on Google, YouTube, etc. Uh, regarding the scenery which you showed just now, there is one question, instead of using triangles, can we use arc to draw mountains? Yes, of course, we can use R to draw mountains. Okay, so here is a question. How to use conditional loop instead of repeat block? Uh, we have to use the if, then, else structure, which will help us to uh, replace the uh, repeat blocks with the conditional loops. Uh, we have a friend asking here, what are the different themes for Codever 2022 competition? So, here are the themes. Save the environment, make smart transportation, automate your surroundings, strengthen the health infrastructure, revolutionize agriculture. For more information, visit the CARES Goa website. Vignesh, did you use hardware components in your projects? Yes, because I did an uh, Internet of Things based project, I needed hardware to be included in my project. So. I use the ESP32 boards. There are various other hardware components which you can use in the Pictoblock software. So do check out the software today. Someone has asked here, Ifra, what is a polygon? A polygon is a block where you can make a lot of shapes uh, by using just one block. Uh, and also a similar question, how did you fill color in the shapes which you showed in the scenery just now? Okay, to fill the color, first you have to go in the operator's block. And then from the operator's block, you have to select minus operator. And then from the minus operator, you will have to reduce the size by 1. 
so you will drag the size and you will put there one so if it, it looks as if we have colored the sheet how was the experience after winning and what was the prize that you got uh, so last year my experience was very nice uh, first i didn't expect the prize but uh, I secured the first place last year and the prizes were very exciting such as there was medal there was code ever t-shirt the corky robot kit certificates etc what message would you like to give to the children learning coding uh i would like to uh, uh, say that you uh, you can learn different various technologies on the internet and you use them to solve the different problems that you face in your surroundings and and the same you can do in this code ever competition how did you manage to complete the project did you refer any website uh yes i referred uh, various websites such as google and youtube i also used a website called adafruit io which helps to give the dashboard of iot projects pictoblock software also has the support for this website so do check it out how did you add an xy grid in the backdrop by uh, so how we can add the xy grid so by clicking choose on backdrop search for xy grid and add the backdrop likewise you also have different types of backdrop you can choose as per your requirement how did you upload a project uh, the more details regarding uploading the web project on the website and submitting it will be explained to you on the last day of the boot camp that is on 7th of january so do see you, see you there we have also a question asking can i do picto blocks uh, can i use uh, picto blocks to draw, uh, draw santa claus yes we can we can use picto blocks to draw a santa claus uh, so if you have any questions Uh, you can for message your questions by visiting our website on cares.goa.gov.in and guys do like the video share this video and don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe the channel and we'll meet you next bye guys For the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids, Codeva 2022 International Fourth Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme: save the environment, strengthen the health infrastructure, revolutionize the agriculture, automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want, from stories to games, from software-based AI projects to hardware-based projects. Pictoblocks, an international AI education and coding platform. You can learn to code, make interactive animations and games. interesting projects based on ai program actions for robots and much more with pictoblocks app now available on play store you can even make your project for the competition on the go anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can Yes, you can either participate as a one person army or in a team of 2 with your coding buddy. Follow these 3 easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self learning material and AI boot camps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results.
Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register anytime between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Along with the cash prizes up to $1,000, all the winners will also receive a medal, certificate and the official Codeva 2022 AI t-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1,000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries. For the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids. Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want. From stories to games. From soft 